Hello, this is Delamere, and welcome to another repair video. In this video, we're working on a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. As you can clearly see, there is some definite cracks in the screen. If I try to turn it on, you can see it just does all sorts of weird blinky things. So it definitely needs to be replaced. It's been cracked in two different locations. It's still, uh, the digitizer seems to work, but the screen is definitely busted. So we're going to open this up, get this back cover off. And I do have not just a screen replacement, but in this occasion, a full frame replacement as well. Because if you look at the frame, I, I, I just prefer honestly doing frame replacements with screens. It was so much easier. But if you look at the edges, they are pretty banged up especially along the button right there. It, it's got some pretty bad marks and scratches on along the edges. So this will look so much better if it has a full replacement. And that's what we're gonna do. And here we are with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. I'm just gonna give it a really quick look over. I don't think there is any issues with it. This is a refurbished model and very, very rarely do you actually have any problems with them but I do still like to give it a quick gander and just make sure there isn't any issues. I've encountered a couple where the refurbished screen wasn't good. This is also something I've been noticing they've been adding for some Samsung phones, the newer ones. You'll notice that it's pointing out that these two screws are shorter than the others, and so which being you shouldn't put the longer screws there because it'll probably break the screen. Despite that, there are motherboard screws quite often that are a completely different size also from the shield screws. So it's better to just be very aware of what is happening with your phone and make sure you that you, you line them up. Let's get this back cover heated up. I think at this point I am ready to just wiggle it out of place. It is, it's pretty much up. So put it in there. You'll notice it's wiggling in there as well. So I'll just put a little bit of alcohol around the edge there. And I should be able to just slowly wiggle this up. Just keep going back and forth, barely pulling up and it should just come up on its own. You do not want to hurry this along. This is a back cover that's made of glass. And there we have it, back cover off. So if you're here just to see how to get the S21 Ultra back off, you you're, you guys are good to go. Let's move on to the interior. We've got a bunch of screws to remove. We're gonna be completely gutting this in order to put everything in here into the new, the new, the, 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 the new screen. Get my screwdriver, we can get at it. Where is my screwdriver? Should be easier to start off with the bottom first. Once we get that up, then this can be peeled away a little bit easier as this is stuck right down here. I don't think there's any other screws. I might be wrong. I don't think there's any screws underneath this. There we go. Wouldn't make any sense there to be a screw actually, considering that's where the speaker is. I don't think there's any screws missing. I just gotta pop up the wireless charge pad thing. There we go. And this one, apparently I missed another, another ribbon cable. And there we have it. First part off, immediately going to disconnect the battery. We don't want to cause any problems. You guys might consider subscribing if you like the video. This right here is the screen. And this is just connecting the main board to the daughter board right there. So you notice there's two screws right here and there's also a third one. These three screws very likely are all the exact same size. I'll show you guys in a minute what I'm talking about there. How do I get this bit out? I don't see any screws. They're very loud upstairs. I'm sorry about that. The upstairs neighbors are are being noisy. I think I could latch off of this right here. This is, I believe, the earpiece. There's another ribbon cable I'm missing right here, actually. There we go. So you've got uh, this ribbon cable, this ribbon cable, this ribbon cable right here, and this ribbon cable. And then there's the power button ribbon cable. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of ribbon cables. Let's try this again. It doesn't seem to matter on this bit because it's not up here, but that is remove the SIM tray. I have a very strong tendency to forget to take out the SIM tray. Right here, there it is. There we go, oh no. That guy's gonna have speaker buzz if, that's, if that contains any metal. It's very sandy. I'm gonna give it a click, click, a quick cleaning with some isopropyl alcohol just to get some of that grit off of his earpiece. How do I keep seeing this happen? I had a, I saw this in another, another cell phone and I had to replace the whole earpiece. There was no 
getting around it. I wonder if I can like I can put a little bit more alcohol on this and then I can take the mesh off and then I can just blow out the dust from underneath. There, maybe that'll do it. Doesn't take much to get this to loosen up. This mesh is just glued down. Just like that. I'm gonna just put it to the side very carefully. I do see distinctly what is iron. No, it blew off very easily. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's really reassuring. This isn't really part of the repair, but I, I just can't leave it alone. It's, it, it it's, it's going to make noise and he's going to complain. Okay. I'm just going to give this one more quick wipe down. Okay. It's about good as, it's about as good as I can do. Put the mesh back on and if it still crackles, well, I mean, there's nothing much else that can be done about it. There was material inside some place where there's not supposed to be. Now, I don't see any screws up in this area here. So I think I only need to take out this screw right here. And I'm going to put that screw aside as just a screw that's specific to the camera module. I don't know if it's the same size as the others. Well, well actually, we'll see in a sec. Here, we'll take one. We'll just compare it. You see that? It's shorter, I think. No, nope. I don't mind. It's the same size. Now the camera modules will likely be connected to the bap, bap, back of the motherboard. Now if I try to lift the whole camera module out, will it try to take the motherboard out with it? I found a little spot right here near that, that spot there with the, what do you call it? That came out very nice. Man, that, that thing's heavy. There's a lot of steel in that camera module. I think that might be the Taptic motor. I still got to get the battery out and I'm going to take this daughter board out next now i'm going to show you guys that these three screws unless I, I might be wrong but i'm pretty sure these three screws are going to be the exact same size i'd say it's actually a slight bit shorter than the other two this is interesting and annoying at the same time i'm going to put them exactly in this order because i'm pretty sure the one that came out of here is just slightly shorter than the other two i don't want to make any mistakes the screen was very expensive so better to not take chances okay Let's get this battery out. There's only one way to get this battery out that I know of, and that is to soak it in alcohol. And you don't need to rush this bit here, and it does not need an extreme amount of effort to get it out. I usually just use a, 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 my, my metal spudger. If you can get one of these in here and then just lift up, that is great too. Um, just be careful if you're going to use one of these. I'm quite used to it, but you can pierce the battery if you are too much in a hurry or if you just slip. So I'm just lifting up very lightly. As you can see, it's just bent slightly there and I'm gonna release. And I'm just gonna keep doing that till I start hearing the battery start to separate. It kind of makes a, a pulling sound, almost like tape. And the alcohol will start working its way behind the adhesive as you do this. This is being a bit stubborn. How about that? You know what, maybe I'll just let the alcohol sit in there just a little bit longer. Put a dribble more because I just realized that I forgot to take the daughter board out. The screws are out. I just got to lever it up a little bit and it should just pop right out. Sometimes they glue them in. I haven't seen it done in a little while, but uh, sometimes they do glue them in. Okay, that's giving me a big hint there. It's not budging. So what do I do? I'm going to get one of these plastic cards and see if I can work it in there a little bit. Even just a little bit would help me. Let's see if that got it going. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not working on the other side, it's because there's absolutely no space to work on the other side. The battery is starting to come. Finally, there we go. Very gently. Notice that I do have some marks that have come up from me using the pry tool along here. There's no piercing though. You will even have this happen with a plastic card or even one of these, one of these plastic, uh, plastic picks that'll do them just as much if you're being careful if you're taking it slow you shouldn't pierce the battery especially if you're not putting an extreme amount of effort this needs to dry more it's it still seems to have some alcohol in it so it's time now that we start moving things over to the new frame now with this there are some things that are usually left in uh, not usually the Taptic motor, but there is things like the power buttons that are left in and, and a few other things that are more easy, less, less, not worth taking out. 
And I just realized that I probably should test this screen before I take off any more adhesive stuff. So the things that need to come out still from here is, I think, just the Taptic motor, which is that little guy right there. And I think that's it. I'm, I may as well do it right now. Usually a little drop of alcohol in there is enough to get it loose. Just drop that in there. Use your tweezers to leverage it up. Just find a good angle. And then just lightly start levering it very slowly. You can already see it moving. There we go. Don't put this near your screws. It'll just pick up everything because there's a, there's a magnet in there. It is a, it, 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 it is a motor after all. Let's put the main board in and give this thing a test. Let's try getting this glue off again. Yeah, it's still dried now. The alcohol is has dried off. This explains why it was so hard to get that battery out. It's not usually this difficult to get the adhesive off of the back of the battery. The glue seems to be different from what I'm used to. Now, if you're wanting one of these tools, some of these tools that I am using in my videos, you can find my affiliate links for any of the tools that I use in the video description. That includes this weird tool. It's not the exact same model, but it's very close and does the exact same thing. I need to have put that daughter board back in. That, that needs to go in. Now, you got to push it there. You'll notice there's a bit of a red gasket around the edges, so that needs to go in first. So you're going to push that in. You're going to make sure that's, that's well seated. And then once you're sure that that's pretty darn well seated, you should just be able to push it on down. If it doesn't go down, like you've got this little piece of metal right there that helps things line up, it should go in quite snug as it has. Okay, let's do some testing. Finally, let's connect the battery and let's make sure that this turns on and that there isn't any problems with the digitizer and the screen looks good, etc., etc. There we go. Very encouraging to see. Very, very nice. It's not locked either. That makes life a little bit easier for testing. It looks like it's just... He, he must have factory reset it recently. Maybe he's planning to sell it. So let's just take one of these icons and look for any dead spots. If there is a dead spot, it will immediately disconnect my finger from the screen. It looks like it's great. It's fine. It's doing exactly what it is supposed to. Let's turn this phone off and we are going to finish this repair off. Immediately, let's just disconnect that battery. We don't want to cause ourselves any problems. And I'm confident enough now that I can put this Taptic motor in. So if you remember, we got some screws. We got, uh, I think it's this one screw right here that was from the camera itself. Let's move this card out of the way. But we got that screw that was from the cam camera module. And then we have those three screws right here. Those go in the very bottom. And the rest of the screws are all these. Let's start off with this little guy. We're already getting pretty darn close to that point where we uh, got to plug the battery in. You know what? I'm going to do it right now. We're on the final stretch. Four screws to go. Now, if I've done everything correct, everything should be snapped in and level with the frame itself for these shields. I'm just going to give this a quick look over, just making sure that everything is exactly as it's supposed to be. Let's 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 take a gander. That's nice and flat. Up around here, it's good. That's good. That's how it should be. Nice and flat. Now this right here is full on in adhesive, an adhesive strip. This isn't glue. This is, I mean, there is glue on this as well to some degree, that white stuff. But this is a this is an adhesive strip. I can pull up a section of it. And once I have got a, got a section of it up, uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to snip it and then I can peel the whole thing away. That's what I've done in the past and it seems to work pretty well. I'm going to have to use the glue remover on this regardless, but if I use the heat gun on it, it'll make it a lot faster. Okay, just that one spot's been heated up. Let's see how that goes. Ah, uh, it's not taking the lower level adhesive off with it. It's still... Well, that part is. No, it stopped. Come on. I'm going to try really hard not to be scraping this metal against the back cover itself, as you can scratch away some of it. And now this one, it probably is going to be a big deal, but if it's the glass, like the see-through, the glass version, like chrome, 
you will just scratch a hole right through the paint and then you can see a hole through it and that's just not pretty okay we're gonna have to make our own our own seal our own adhesive because there is none present so i got this stuff here it's 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 3m uh, adhesive specifically for screens it works great i really like it what i do first i just line it up i'm not trying to be perfect with this the reason why i'm not trying to be perfect is because there's no way I'm going to be able to make this waterproof without adding some uh, some E8000 glue or some sort of rubberized glue to this to finish the job off. So you just got to work with what you got, as always. And a lot of times I find that the adhesives that, I, that come with screens like this aren't all that great. So that corner there, it's going to be the same thing with this corner. And it's going to be the same with this corner. I'm going to have to go and put glue, little bits of glue on all those spots. There we have it, all the adhesive backing. I think that's the correct term for it. I keep forgetting. The adhesive backing. It's all off. Let's get that glue in for those corners. Don't need a whole lot, just a little. You're just looking to basically waterproof those corners. So here is the final bit. We're about to close this up. The nice thing about the glue in the corners is, is it gives you a little bit more play with the back cover since it's kind of like a lubricant before it dries and there we have it guys isn't that beautiful very clean very smooth so if you guys are wondering how long that this video took i'd say a total it was maybe an hour maybe a spec more than an hour if you guys like the video please do leave a like and if you want to see more of my stuff subscribe we'll see you guys all in another video bye